Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's move. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And we gonna get into this energy signature of being wrongfully accused, because it goes a lot deeper than what y'all think. Being wrongfully accused. And first and foremost, like, I had to wash my motherfucking hair, put some new sloppy singles in real quick, but that that's beside the fact, because I had to wash my hair because yesterday in the motherfucking, uh, the motherfucking video I just put out and shit, um... My motherfucking hair was so dirty, and from me scratching it with that dirty ass wave cap, that my parts was like white. So the you know the camera is so goddamn crispy in a video. It kind of looked like I had a motherfucking patch right there where one of my parts was at and shit from my sloppy ass part and then my braids and shit. So I had to wash my hair and do some sloppy singles over and shit. Y'all know I'm a Leo ascended. I don't like that shit. <laughs> I don't like that shit. <laughs> I don't like that shit. I got to drop a dime on that shit. <laughs> We're shouting banana right now. <laughs> Shout out the belly and shit. But uh, Nas and DMX. But for the most part, yeah, um, we're going to get into wrongfully accused energy and shit. So look, check this out. Now, y'all probably think, now you, you ever been around somebody right now, you don't look at this person like there's nothing wrong with this person. Females, I know y'all had those friends that you don't look at her like there's nothing wrong with her. But y'all hear all these things every time y'all around somebody else. Everybody got something negative to say about her and shit like that. And all my homeboys out there, all my men out there, y'all know y'all been around certain people and like, damn, when I experienced this dude myself, you know what I'm saying? I don't, he don't bother me like that. So why every time I'm around somebody else, people telling me, nah, I don't hang with this dude or this, 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 that, a third or whatever like that. Or this person got problems, right? Now, and then look, you could genuinely be around these people for a long period of time and still not see what's actually going on. Now, here's what you need to understand. Like I said, in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, you cannot hide from your state of being. So whatever true state of being you be in, whatever on your mind, whatever you think you are, in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, you are that. That is the vessel you create. You could be a dragon. You could be whatever the fuck. And that would be the shape and form. And somebody along like me could come around and kill your shit. And death is a lot more transparent and a lot more elusive there. A lot more fluid there. So the way y'all experience death down here is so low vibrational that y'all get attached to the light. Y'all get attached to the physical. So and that is the light. So for the most part, y'all don't want that. It's like this one that y'all created. Y'all created it to sustain itself for so a certain period of time. So y'all done created so many ideas and theologies about the sustaining that y'all have within it. So since this low vibrational state that y'all in is vibrating so slow, the realm of reality seems to be going a lot slower, which y'all would call time. So for the most part, y'all got a lot more time and experience to come up with ideas on what would it be like to transform. You don't get that, you don't, you don't get that satisfaction in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. You could get killed on a goddamn instant, but it, you won't experience it the way you experience it down here. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's almost like down here, I would have to give it to y'all in the concept of it's like somebody destroying your idea or somebody destroying your concept. Say you got the strong conviction, the strong idea, or the strong feeling and emotion about something, and somebody just come along and debunk all that shit and it ain't nothing you can it ain't no idea imagination or feeling emotion you can construct around it to try to make it feel like you can justify it to make yourself feel comfortable with what you're holding on to it's no way you can do that it, somebody that's come along and you truly have to change your whole state about whatever you was holding on to in the fourth fifth and sixth dimension that you got killed you got killed so the new concept and idea and feeling and emotion you finna develop from to separate from that last thing you got debunked in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, you're you developing another spaceship. You're getting another body. You see what I'm saying? And and a lot of this shit goes on fourth and fifth dimensional wise. Six dimensional wise, you come out as a physical shape and form again. Same way how you came out third dimensional wise here, coming from the first and the second dimension. You see what I'm saying? But before we get into that, I want I want to give people a clear understanding because we got a bunch of examples out here of of people too. For an example, let's use Kanye West for an example, right? Now, I'm pretty sure when you guys hear Kanye West talk, you pretty much don't see nothing wrong, right? You pretty much sit back and be like, damn, this is something that everybody can agree with. And then everybody you see going against Kanye West, Kanye West, you will sit back and be like, damn, it's because they sleep. Now, remind you, we're in a realm of reality that's backed and supported by law, language, love, like, likeness, liking. You know what I'm saying? Lords, being lore. You know what I'm saying? Lower down. You know what I'm saying? We live in that kind of realm of reality right now. This is a, that whole Lucifer spectrum, right? So what you need to understand that is a lot of these things 
we are lost in. So we may not know who's right or wrong down here because the words that we use in front of it, the meanings and re reasons we created behind these energy signatures, they play out in so many different ways that one specific energy signature can be right in a scenario down here and can be wrong in a whole nother scenario down here. So we could get into aspects where anger is good and, and bad down here. We could get into aspects where love is good and bad down here. You could be so loving and kind to the point you become passive and people take advantage of you. Take advantage of you. Then on the flip side, you could be so loving to the point that, you know what I'm saying, it, it plays out that people like you because you're caring. On the flip side of anger, you could be too angry to the point that nobody want to be around you. And then on the flip side, sometimes you have to utilize anger because people is utilizing you as a crutch and taking advantage of you so much. You have to show some form of opposition so someone can know where you stand. So we're in a realm of reality where energy signatures is playing out in so many ways that it's normal to get lost. But what you need to understand in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension wise that things are things are what they are. So going back to Kanye West, right? You see he putting out all this energy and then when you listen to his uh, his uh you might listen to his um his his conversations, his interviews. That's the word I'm looking for, his interviews, right? And you might be like, damn, this is some shit that makes sense. Yet, everybody else is going against it. Now, like I said, going back to the point that we could be lost in so many ways, we could come up with arguments that the people who are going against Kanye West is maybe lost, or the people who are going against Kanye West is maybe right. Or on the flip side, Kanye West may be right, or on the flip side, in some aspects, Kanye West may be wrong. Now, let's go fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional wise, right? There's more, there's a, there's more majority of people going against Kanye than people who are actually agreeing with Kanye, Kanye. Now, this is getting back to aura and doing things behind closed doors where this is what I want to call um, being wrongfully accused. This is why I titled the video wrongfully accused because, okay, when you listen to Kanye West interviews, you sit back and be like, okay, this person sound like he, he is right and people are just not understanding. So now you go and look at everybody going against Kanye West like they may be wrongfully accusing him or something. Then this energy signature even expands in the court system. People, you may have been affiliated with someone guilty by affiliation or been around or or you have may got arrested for a crime that you truly did not do or you may be in a relationship and getting accused of cheating and you really did not cheat so you're being wrongfully accused right okay now you got that energy signature from somewhere you need to know you manifest in everything in your life so you get you picked up that energy signature so like I said, we're in a realm of reality where it's easy to get lost. So whatever a person is attaching to you, what they think they see, what they think appear to be, that could very well be wrong. But as spirits, we all we all see everything. You need to understand that. Your spirit always going to pick up something and depend, pick up a vibration or a frequency. You always going to sense something. Everybody's spirit is spiritually inclined. Now, depending on how lost in the light, physical words and language that the spirit is lost in, that's going to determine how much they got to filter through. So a person may accuse you of something and whatever they're accusing you of, maybe the lostness of it, you might be sitting back like, nah, this person don't even know what they're talking about. But this person is picking up something. They, Everybody's spirit know. Your spirit know. I, my spirit know. Everybody's spirit know. Her spirit know. His spirit know. Um, that child's spirit know. That, oh, that elderly person's spirit know. So for the most part, Whatever they're picking up may not have nothing to do with what they're accusing you of, but they're picking up something. So here's what's going on. Let's get back to the point of Kanye West. Kanye West is doing something behind closed doors. Kanye West is doing something on his own time, and whatever he's doing may not necessarily have anything to do with what he's portraying at the moment, but he's putting a large amount of energy signature into a specific space and location in the astral realm. And the information that's made up into the lights that's rotating in that space is some negative shit. It's some shit. It's some disgruntled shit. It's some going against type, some type of shit. So in some way, shape, or form, you're going to receive that energy. What goes around comes back around like a vortex. So if you're in some type of pattern, some type of routine, some type of spiral, whatever space and location you are in, in that overall spiral, say you're here. And say as a spirit, your space, you're creating a bunch of shapes and forms and vessels in that specific space. So as a, as a pattern and a routine, those shapes and forms are going to go off and take a life of their own. And 
and, and, and gather dust and astral dust and shit like that and, and accumulate circumstances on its own. So when it comes back, when those asteroids come back to you in a specific space and location that you're rotating in, they're rotating in the same space because you created those there. Now, when it comes back to you, it may be way bigger than what it was when you pushed it out. So now you're getting way more of that experience, way more of those circumstances, way more of those situations of what you have pushed off in the first place. It, now, it have accumulated because it have resonated with a bunch of those same state of beings. Now, once it got back to you, you're getting a bunch, you're getting an enormous amount of that energy signature back. Now, however, the illusion, aka the light look, that's it's beyond you. It took a life of it of its own. Went into other spaces with other beings creating lights and informations of that shit. Who was resonating with the same energy frequency vibration? And then by the time it got back to you, it that that little spaceship in cloud and got mechanic by other people and all kind of shit. Now it came back. To, now when it got back to you, you got you got a bunch of ideas, concepts, and feelings and emotions and energy signatures directed towards you. And however, it's vibrating, aka how people perceived it and how you're going to perceive it come to you. That's going to be how spiritually in the 4th, 5th, and 6th dimension, we can tell what state of being your ass was in the majority of time, regardless what your ass was putting out. A.K.A. everybody got thoughts and ideas and concepts and feelings and emotions directed towards Kanye West with the information of the energy signature of this motherfucker must be out his mind. So it so at this point, third dimensional wise, it doesn't matter how smart, how informative, how how inclusive, how you how, it doesn't matter how how you come across. You could come across as the smartest person alive or the dumbest person alive. In the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, as spirits, we always gonna pick up that first in the third dimension. So we always gonna come up with the first that first. So regardless of how smart a nigga gonna appear. A motherfucker spirit gonna pick up that whatever that nigga state of being or girl state of being was in. And in the third dimension, depending on how lost they is, that's the language or the concept or the conclusion they're gonna come up with to pin on that person. So even if the conclusion may not, so this person may not even be cheating, right? And you might think this person is cheating. So you come up with a conclusion of this person cheating and you throw that per and you throw it on that person, right? Now that person may not be cheating. But God damn it, here's the here's the thing. Your partner might be might be having on their mind somebody else way more than you. So their aura and the energy signature that they're creating and, and their state of being that they're creating in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension is gonna be the cheating energy. So in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, you see what I'm saying? Your spirit is in a space. Because your spirit is your space. So you have moved into a, a bigger space. With your little space, a bigger spirit with your little spirit resonating in something in, in a space that don't resonate with your partner. And then you're paying attention to that space and rotating in that location and creating a spaceship in that space. So in at, at this point, you could just be flirting a lot or have another girl or if you're a girl, have another guy on your mind way more than your partner. So your partner's spirit going to pick this up like something ain't right. Is this person cheating? It probably didn't even manifest in the third dimension yet. So you're probably like, man, what this person talking about? And then slowly but shortly, so slowly but shortly, you're going to start using that as an argument of why you cheated. And that's why y'all end up breaking up. So slowly but shortly, you manifested that scenario in the first place. But you need to understand this. Both of y'all was working together before it got 3D wise manifested. But four, fifth, and sixth dimensional wise, it was just a thought. And it's probably somebody that your partner at, at, at wit at work or at school or wherever they go or they favorite store. They be flirting with this person or it might just be a person that they ain't even got that far with with yet. But this person on their mind a lot of uh, most majority of the time. And you need to understand whatever you're paying attention to in a four, fifth and sixth dimension, you you go there. That's an actual place and location. That's why when you're down here in the third dimension, like, damn, where's my mind at? In the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, your spirit went into a vessel. Whatever your mind created, you create bodies. And your spirit went in and went in that and flew somewhere else. And you wasn't in this realm of reality. So a person could be talking to you and shit like that. They have to snap you back here for you to get back into your merc mercury tethering cord, your mind, and get and snap back into that tethering cord and plug back in to the to the matrix, third dimension. You see what I'm saying? But what you need to understand is, see, a lot of, this is what I'm not getting from religious and spiritual people. And I hate to always get back to, into this, but I'm Archangel Uriel. What y'all what y'all, what y'all calling God 
is one specific spiritual being in the fourth, fifth, or sixth dimension. So y'all get y'all calling that whole world God, but y'all y'all forgetting that that's just one spiritual being, and you're there too. So this is why a lot of shit be right. So this is why they say don't commit adultery and shit like that. When they say don't even have the mind state of wanting to fuck another woman. Like, that's actually right. But y'all get lost into looking at it third dimensional wise. And then y'all have spirits who, who follow idols. And then they say get married. And if you're married, don't look at another woman with, uh, with lust. All of that is lost. Lostness. That's the lostness of it. Now, that spirit know what it's talking about, but the bunch of spirits that's following that spirit, y'all all down here in the third dimension. Looking at it the wrong way. Where this is it. It is not cheating. It's not that you're not supposed to look at another thing with lust. This is what you do. You just have to know this is what you're doing. So if you are in a relationship which being married, I'm going to do a video on marriage. You married to somebody regardless. As soon as y'all fuck, you're married. And I don't even care if you're in a relationship with someone else right now. You're still married to the last person you fucked. And you still have to do a lot of energy work for that divorce. This is a spiritual thing. This has nothing to do with motherfucking paperwork. This has nothing to do with the fucking government. And what y'all attaching. See, the government down here is playing out the energy signature of... of Whoever spirit y'all following and y'all want following y'all want to call God up there. So think of the highest government down here. That's the spirit y'all following in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. So that one person down here, who's the highest government, his spirit is in the fourth, or his or her spirit is in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, and that's who y'all following in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension too. You need to understand this is it is all one, but not. One person's concept. You got your concept too. You see what I'm saying? And all of our concepts together together creates one concept. And that's a being in a higher dimension. But this is not the same thing how y'all want to say it's the Christian God. Or it's the Muslim God. Or it's that God. Now y'all talking about Lordship. Y'all talking about Lords. Lord. The L word. Lucifer's and Elohim's. You know what I'm saying? All, and all of y'all is, is these. <laughs> All of y'all are, are, but that's getting into something else. But listen, you just need to understand that this is spiritual shit right here. So whatever your mind is on and you're constantly paying attention to, that's the spaceship you're creating. But that's like you going to AutoZone or like say whatever you're paying attention to and, and what you resonating with. That's like you going, you're traveling. And then whatever specific thing you're actually paying attention to, that's going to be the actual store. So you start to build your spaceship. So you're going to NASA or you're going to AutoZone or you're going here, you're going there. Different places to build your little spaceship. A.K.A. these places is in specific locations. That's why you have AutoZone and then you have another store that sells auto parts up the street. That's why you have Walmart right here. Then you got Target up the street. That's why you got Walgreens right here and you got Target up the street. That's, you see what I'm saying? So that's why you got McDonald's right here, Burger King up the street. KFC right here, Popeye's up the street. So based upon whatever you're vibrating on at the moment, you're going to go to that space and location. And whatever one you resonate with based upon that space and location, that's going to be the specific store you like. Some people like McDonald's better than Burger King. But regardless, you're eating food. Some people like, uh, you, see them? You, you get what I'm saying? Some people like Walmart better than Target. Targets, but you're going to a convenience store. So for the most part, you go. it's like you're going to build your spaceship, but you're in a specific space and location. So... If you got a partner, she or he going to know where you're at. They're going to know what store you're at. So regardless if you bought something at the store or not, a.k.a. in the third dimension, regardless if you cheated or not, your partner gonna, your, your partner's spirit going to know where you're at in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. They're going to know you at AutoZone. So even if you just went to AutoZone to look around, you ain't buy shit. And you and you got back to the crib in the four fifth. You went back to the astrological house in R three sixty in the four fifth and sixth dimension. You know what I'm saying? And then you was like, "Honey, I'm home." Or you was like, "Hey, nigga, I'm home." And then, um, and then the the partner start feeling like, "What what you was doing all day? I don't feel right." You probably like, "Man, what the fuck you talking about? I ain't did shit." Man, I'm getting tired of this person always complaining. But you need to understand that your ass was at Walmart all day. 
just just because you ain't buy nothing, you still was at Walmart all day. So every and we are all spiritually inclined. Get that in your mind, everybody. Don't let no religious or no preacher tell you you ain't got the gift. God don't come to you the same way God came to Abraham and all them. Don't ever let no preacher tell you that. You going to get the voice same way Moses got the voice. You going to get the voice the same way all oh, the ancestors Jesus they ain't, they ain't nothing but ancestors. Your your ancestor blood cells. Don't ever let nobody tell you you ain't got the gift. You got the gift. Or else your ass wouldn't be existing, picking up shit day to day. When you sit back picking up shit, what you think that is? <laughs> a gift. The same shit Moses back then was picking up shit like, okay, the weather about to be like this. Let me go tell this nigga this shit about to be like this. The fuck did you, what, what do you think you're doing every day? <laughs> Don't get lost. Don't get lost into preachers and scientists telling you, putting words on certain energy signatures and making you think whatever you're doing is something else. Whatever you're doing, get just something to do with your brain. Whatever you're doing, oh, it just, it just got something to do that you're not using logic. Whatever you're doing, oh, it just got something to do with your... You know what I'm saying? Don't ever let nobody preacher or no, no fucking scientist on either spectrum tell you you ain't got no goddamn gift. Flight bus, bitch, goddamn air. And that's exactly what it is. So if you're around somebody, right, that haven't done wrong to you, but... In all scenarios, even in business matters, whatever, somebody you're trying to hustle with, whatever. If you're around somebody that haven't done nothing to you, but you always pick up some kind of spirit, you need to take into consideration that there's things going on, there's things going on when you're not around. And even if that energy is directed towards you or not, be aware. Because there will be a time where that energy just might be directed towards you. And somebody like Archangel Uriel be like, I told you so. Flight bus, bitch, goddamn air. Lay y'all down here.